now we will configure the ibm data power in docker so before doing that let's check in docker what are the images are present so you can see there are no images currently so we have to download the images for the data power so we will get it from the docker hub the docker hub is the public registry we can get most of the software's images there even the come of the enterprises can maintain their own private registry so that they can uh, store their images in their private registry whenever they want they can uh, pull it from the registry and uh, run the container okay now uh, i will uh, search for the ibm data power images in the docker hub let's open google and search the ibm data power so this is ibm com slash data power this is the image you have to get it from the docker hub so let's search for that so you can see now this data hub is open and uh, you can see this image docker full and ibm com slash data power so this image you have to get it to our docker desktop so here also if you do this command it will get the latest version of the data power if you want other versions earlier versions so you can go for the tax okay while pulling from the docker hub so these are the talks tags available here see tags 7.6 1.6 other versions latest then to 2018.4.1 uh, so these are the versions available if you want to use these kind of versions earlier versions you can just give this command with colon and that version name like here if i copy i'm copying this so you can use this button copying copy it so just i'll use this here so when i hit this uh, only uh, not giving any the any of the versions so it will get the latest so if you want to give the versions like this 2.8 dot it will it will download the 2018.88 version so i'll just give this one so you can see this install the latest version pull the latest image from the docker hub so now using tag it's automatically get using this tag now latest tag so it's pulling the image downloading the image from the docker hub okay it's got downloaded now so you can see now using docker images docker images so it lists this image now ibm com is the image tag is latest and the image id of this so if you have to do any operations on this image this is the image id you have to use like suppose i want to delete this image now so i don't want this image so that time you can use uh, there's a command docker rm i i stand for image rm remove i image then you have to give this image id just copy this and paste and it get removed so now it got deleted all the things untagged and deleted all the layers here so now if we check there is no docker images there so it's empty so now i'll do the same operation again 
pulling the data power image so this one i'm using so same operation continues and it downloads the image to the docker desktop Okay, now the image is downloaded. Same version. Okay, now once it's downloaded, you have to, for this data power, what are the configurations required to run? So, so any images run with the docker run command. Docker run command. So to do that, we have to have certain uh, folders configuration files needed from the docker hub let's check on that so whenever uh, by default in windows the config docker configuration file stores in the program data so let's open the program data folder cd program data then cd docker so ls so you can see now there are in docker folder is created but there is nothing option is there so what happens here so when we installed as a linux container it not created any of the configurations file so to do that you have to just go to this uh, docker settings and switch uh, you can see this switch to windows containers just switch this switch it so when i switch to windows container it creates the necessary files in the windows that default path is program data and slash docker so once it's done uh, it will restart again now it's restarting so once it's done so we'll start again it's uh, started now so now we can check uh, the docker and these files are created now we can see these files got created here the uh, necessary files so these are the files uh, mostly we use this config folder so it has the configuration files here if you open this one cd config ls so these are the files demon.json key.json these are the files needed to run the container so I'll go back to the main uh, folder, this one. And there should be a local folder available here. There is nothing, no local folder is there. In that case, you just create a local folder. So it is needed when we are mounting the lo local folder with the Linux container. So now I'll just uh, create a uh, directory, make directory, the local. So in the same path as a, a config folder, so here is created now just as to tell us so you can see local folder is got created and the config folder okay this is the uh, necessary steps to run the docker run command now same thing will run now uh, for the data power